Welcome back to my walkthrough for Resident Evil Revelations to my friends. It's time to start episode 2. Once again this will be an S rank walkthrough where I'll show you the location of all the collectibles and I will be playing on survival difficulty. Before I get started I just want to announce the first winner of the giveaway. So congratulations to Kitty Loserface. I think you should change your name to Kitty Winnerface from now on. I will contact you with your gift card code shortly, but remember that as soon as episode 3 comes out and I upload the first part I'm going to announce a new winner, so keep participating guys. Just make sure that you mention your gaming system and country so that I know which type of gift card I should get. Otherwise just keep doing what you're doing guys. Keep participating in the discussion and because I really appreciate it and I love discussing the game with you guys and let's get started. Previously on Revelations 2. Claire Redfield, you're coming with us. Where have I been taken? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Who are you? Please, send help! I'm here, baby. Please be alive. I don't have any parents. Over there. How do you know? Well, that's one thing they're left out of the brief. Hey, has anyone even out there? Your daughter's name is... Moira? Yeah. <sighs> She's dead. What? Check it. Is this the place? The Vossid? Whatever? Yeah. Where life begins. Thompson's? Yeah. I'll be examining this. <laughs> oh, both! Keith! Underpants. Come on in. Huh. Huh. Newbie's okay too. Oh, I knew it was you guys. Right. <laughs> uh, any requests? Some kind of rundown prison. Gabe. Gina's dead. Shit. Thompson's gone too. Yeah, but I remember to take his bracelet. Eddie would want me to find out how it ticks. You chopped off his fucking hand? Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Come on, let's see what's in this building. What do you want? I need to throw you at the wall and see who sticks and who doesn't. The wall, in this case, is a special virus that I injected into each of you. A what? You 
What? We will all die. There's no question of that. But one of you still has a chance of dying well. I'm no lab rat. She can stick it right up or I'll see an ass. But if we've been infected with something... Oh, that man. bitch stuck a needle in me? Just put it out of your head. Redfield, walk with me. Okay, here we go with the start of the shutter, my friend. First pick up these handgun bullets in the corner right there. There's the first Kafka drawing. You'll notice that the Kafka drawings are already visible on my game, as well as the tower emblems, because I did plenty practice runs in this chapter. And I actually recorded this chapter once, but I wasn't pleased with the final outcome, even though I did get S rank. Okay. So I decided to record everything once again. Neil was with you? Nonetheless, you can use my walkthrough to find all of the Kafka drawings and tower emblems. Just remember that if it's the first time that you're finding them, you'll have to point your light towards them until they are completely visible. And that's not a good start. Let's see if I can get it once again. Remember that to, to open these treasure chests, you need to make sure that the circle remains yellow. Your controller will vibrate if you're moving in the right direction. But it can be a little bit tricky. There's the second Kafka drawing. And now we're going to head down and collect the parts that we need to get the helicopter working a battery and some exactly fuel in this shit dump. From my experience, yes. Help me look. Claire? Of course. Of course we'll find everything we need in here. This is Resident Evil after all. So there's this guy coming. Let's see if I can blind him. Oh, Claire got hit. Remember that if Moira gets hit, it's not a problem because she can regain her health after a while. However, if Claire gets it, even if you're not controlling her, she will keep losing health and you will have to heal her. So, better keep an eye out on Claire. Okay, so now we're going to sneak very slowly through here because there's an enemy on the other side and we don't want to lure his attention. It's an iron head and we know how resilient those guys can be, especially on survival. But the second tower emblem is right up there. Make sure you shoot it. Even after you shoot them once, they will keep appearing. They will just turn gray instead of blue. And in here we're going to pick up a new weapon. And now we're just I'm just going to skip through this file. If you want to read it calmly, just pause. I think I'm giving you enough time to, to read it this time around. And now there are a few hidden items here for us to collect. A few more handgun bullets. And now we're going to open another chest. So let's go around. It's very well hidden in the corner here. Took me a while to find this one. And there we go. First lock broken and now let's get the second lock. Come on, there we go. And now we get a few parts which we'll use to upgrade our weapons a little bit later on. Don't forget to pick up this empty bottle and make another explosive bottle. We will be using quite a lot of them later on. And now all that we need to do is go back to Pedro and see if he follows us. Might take him a while. Unfortunately, AI-controlled characters 
aren't very fast at all. While he does that, let's collect uh, another Eden item. I'm only getting gems, really. I would trade all of these gems for some ammunition because I will be needing it a little bit later on. As Pedro starts drilling, let's get ready to kill a few enemies. Let's see if I can get that guy before he jumps down. Nope. One more shot should do him in. There we go. You might be wondering why I'm crouching. You see, when you're in the crouch position, there's a skill that you actually increase the damage that you can deal if you're in the crouch position. That's why I'm crouched. With the iron head, I'm going to use one of those decoy bottles. Hopefully that will kill him. As you know, the iron heads have quite the resistance, especially on survival difficulty. It takes forever to take these guys down. And now let's try and blind these two guys. There's going to be another one coming. There he is. Come on. There we go. And now, charge up kick. That's another skill that you can unlock. And Claire will only be able to stab the enemy with the knife if you've unlocked another skill but this method I, I recommend that you unlock said skill as fast as possible because it takes less time than having you switch between Claire and Moira now hopefully you will get the door down before more enemies come Thank you. good let me pass come on there we go a little bit of handgun ammunition Ugh. And more gemstones, I really don't need them. Like I said, I really want more ammunition. And now there's an enemy here, waiting in the corner. But, as you can see, we can kill him before he has time to attack us. But if you take too long, he will catch you by surprise and he can deliver quite a lot of damage. There's a hidden item here in the corner, let's get it as well. Another gemstone, of course, just my luck. And now we're going to get the battery. Yeah, no interference. Nice work, Pedro. Her location might be the key to getting off the island. Yeah, Pedro seems like a nice guy. I just wish he was he moved a little bit faster. There's another empty bottle to pick up here, so let's grab that. Combine it with the gunpowder and we get another exploding bottle. Like I said, we'll need plenty of those. Because a little bit later on, even though it's optional, we're going to waste a bunch of ammunition. Just for the sake of a trophy. And to get a medal. But really guys, if you're playing on survival difficulty, I would just avoid that fight. And get the trophy on an easier difficulty. Okay, collect the gemstone. A little bit more gunpowder. And now we're going to collect a backpack for Moira. Which will allow her to carry a few more items. That's most certainly going to come in handy. There we go. There's another empty bottle to pick up here. Pick up the battery. And be careful because as you step out there's going to be an iron head waiting for you on the other side. But you don't need to worry about him, instead just get out of here. Head back down and now we're going to reunite with Gabe. There might be an iron head standing by the gate by the way, but you can easily dodge him. Like I said, there's no point in fighting enemies at this point let's just deliver the battery and the fuel and that will trigger the next cutscene that should be everything you need good work redfield not that i'm surprised now it's my turn to work some magic greasy chopper repairing voodoo magic huh? you have got to be kidding me 
Okay, so before we move on and turn off the siren, we're going to head down and let's break this crate right here. Another gemstone. I'm so lucky. Just when I needed some ammunition. And now inside this box, we're going to find another custom part. So make sure you pick that up. Pick up the, the bottle and we're going to prepare another decoy bottle. And now we're going to head back inside the bar, turn off the siren, or the siren, and then we're going to enter probably the hardest part of the shutter, right, in my opinion. The Again, avoid the enemies outside, there's no point in fighting them. Just touch to the side and you'll be able to get inside the bar without them following you. And now, before we move on, we're just going to do a few upgrades. Let's increase the firing rate on our shotgun. And we can increase the damage on the assault rifle, but now that I think about it, it makes more sense to have the shotgun with increased damage, damage level 2, because that's going to be my primary weapon against the upcoming boss fight, which is optional by the way, but we'll get to that once we reach it, and now that I think about it, yeah, I need that capacity level 1 on my shotgun so that I can carry 3 shots instead of 2, it will make my life a lot easier. So now let's head upstairs and turn off the siren. And now get ready, immediately head down. And we're going to try and prevent as many enemies as possible from getting inside. They will eventually break the windows. Uh, I mean, there is, it is possible to prevent them from breaking any windows. But if this is your first time playing, assuming you don't have a lot of upgraded weapons and so on, then you probably won't get that medal right now. I most certainly won't. On casual difficulty, maybe it would be possible since the enemies are much weaker. Nonetheless, do try and prevent them from getting in as much as you can because if they do break in sooner rather than later then you will be overwhelmed. This scene to me reminds me of a scene in Resident Evil 6 in the very first chapter in Leon's campaign when you have to prevent enemies from getting inside the bar as well. See, two enemies are in out. There are actually three enemies in and one of them actually hit me. You're gonna pay for that. Yep. I tell you, sometimes this game ends up being a lot harder because it's hard to have to babysit your AI partner. And the AI partner, in terms of intelligence, I would say it's comparable to like Resident Evil 5. They get hit so many times, they hardly dodge, and it can really make your life complicated at times. Let's try and point the flashlight at this guy, see if I can blind him, and now let's see if Claire can finish him off. There we go, one down, and let's see if I can finish this guy now. Remember, if you have the increased damage while crouching ability, then use it here. I am forgetting to use it, but it's already hard to dodge and shoot at the same time. To remember to crouch as well, it's just too many things at once. Okay, now we're going to step up the stairs. 
And I'm going to use Moira as a decoy here. Remember that whatever damage she takes, she can recover. And Claire got hit there. I'm going to try and use an explosive bottle here. Yes, using Moira as a decoy didn't really work, but oh well. We have to adjust. And now let's head down. Pedro? Okay, and here we go, the fight with Pedro. Remember guys, this is optional. If you're going for the trophy, I would recommend that you do this on an easier difficulty because this guy can take a load of damage and you're going to probably waste most of your ammunition in this fight. On survival difficulty, at least you are. If this was casual, then maybe not, but... I really don't recommend that you go for this trof trophy on survival difficulty. So what we're going to try and do is shoot him in the head. I'm crouching to try and increase the damage that I can deliver per shot. Be careful to make sure that he doesn't block your shots with the chainsaw. The hardest part in this fight is probably the fact that there are a bunch of enemies coming at you at the same time as Pedro and that makes your life a lot harder. Let's use a decoy bottle here. You can try and running out and run outside but you know what? Oops and I got I got hit here and I wasn't expecting to get hit but oh well. It happens. So you could actually have avoided Pedro and you can go up the ladder now if you're not interested in obtaining this trophy. Since I want the trophy I'm going to keep attacking him. Do be careful with the other enemies in this area. I wasn't paying close attention here. Let's try and use another decoy bottle. Oh, and another guy caught me from behind. And now let's pr keep shooting him in the head. As many shots as you can handle. Oh, and look at that, a final handgun shot to the head actually did him in. So now that we finish off Pedro, we can get out of here. There's no point in staying here any longer. I've already unlocked the trophy on my previous run, that's why you didn't see it appear. But like I said guys, this is optional. On survival difficulty, I would really recommend that instead of trying to take him down, you avoid him. Wait for the enemies to enter the bar. Wait for the ladder to be dropped and then just make your escape. You will have to fight him with Barry if you don't finish him off with Claire, but you don't gain a trophy if you defeat Pedro with Barry. Come on dude, move it. So this is by far the hardest part of this chapter. And this is actually going to conclude the third segment. And this is actually going to conclude the first segment of this chapter, my friends. In the next segment I'm going to conclude Claire's chapter. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to keep participating in the giveaway. And I'll see you all later. Take care, my friends.